congratulations on the, on the three points. Um, just, I guess, first of all, an overall assessment of your, of your team's performance tonight. How did, you, um, how did you see it? The most important thing was finding a, a way to win um, in injury time. You know, it's good teams do that. Uh, and, and it tells you a lot about what good teams are made of, the, the, the strong mentality, the togetherness as well, that never say die attitude. Um, and it could have gone either way, but like I said, I thought we were quite resilient uh, in terms of the things that we try to work on. We knew they were trying to, they wanted to move the ball wide in certain areas and defending crosses. But like I said, it was one of those where the boys just never gave up. You know, there's an opportunity there to, to, to get one. And, you know, we wanted to play a, a kind of a different style um, today as well. Uh, and I guess that's due to um, the right back situation that we've got. We've, we asked David Williams to, to play a role and he played really well there. Um, but I thought there were moments where we were really good in patches. There were moments where we could have been better. Um, you know, we worked a lot on breaking their lines throughout the week. Um, and when we did that, it was good. Uh, but like I said, there's work, work to go. Um, st still, we've got Perth next week and anything can happen. Um, but overall, you've got to take the good uh, with the bad. And it was fantastic. You know, we won. It's huge, right? And, and we, we needed that as well on the back of those last two games and the, and the two results. Um, I think just getting the win, you know, the, the mood in the dressing room, the boys are, are, you know, are really happy and, and it's what you need. You needed sometimes a bit of momentum heading into the finals as well. And I think we got that. If anything, it gives us that belief that no matter what um, the scoreboard says from a time perspective and how many minutes to go, that we can find a way to win. That was huge as far as I'm concerned. I don't think we've scored a winner in injury, injury time all season. Uh, but you're the stats man, so you'd know, right? Well, I'll remind you of Western Sydney away, but I mean, we can talk about that later. That's OK. That's Was that injury time, though? Might have been but very close. But like I said, yeah. that's, you know, it's good that you can do it one off or, or whatever, but, you know, with, with you know, a round to go and finals football, that's huge. That's, that's, that's huge. The, the belief is there, you know. They, they know that at any attack, at uh, any given moment, we can get something out of this, and, um, and that's what I'm most pleased about. I remember when we spoke to you when you first arrived, you said that you challenged Roy Christian to have his best ever season. 18 goals now, best ever Phoenix goal scoring season, top of the Goldenberg, all that stuff. How do you assess how he's done it? What have you seen in Roy Krishna that has allowed him to be so prolific? I've seen a big change in his mental attitude. I've seen a big change in, in the way he he uh, conducts himself. He's a very he's a, he's a leader in this group. You know, when I met him and I asked a lot of questions about him prior to coming here. You know, the, um, particularly with his upbringing, you know, they're quite shy and very respectful people as well. Um, and so I needed to sort of get that out of him as well. We worked hard on, on him being a leader. You know, we understand how patriotic he is about his own country in Fiji, he's the captain of that country, so he understands what leadership means. And he's taken all the stuff that we worked on here, you know, back to his country as well, in terms of food and, and, and how they should conduct themselves on and off the park. Uh, there's been a huge change in him, you know, not just mentally but physically. You know, it's, it's the best shape that he's ever been in. And we challenged him on that one as well. You know, I told him, you, you can't go around carrying those kind of skin folds or that kind of weight. It's just not going to cut it. You know, you are a damn good footballer, but you're going to get better. And, and every day we challenge him and every day you're on his back as well about what to do. Um, I couldn't be more proud of him. But like I said, there's, there's so many more who, who we're extremely proud of. But... It's easy to challenge someone and, and, and ask them to do things that's going to benefit themselves and the football club. But they've got to buy into it as well. And so he, you've got to give him a lot of respect um, because he's, he said yes to everything that we asked of him, everything. And as a reward, you know, it, it, it's, it would, it's easy for me to talk at the start when I was talking to all individuals. But I just asked them to trust me on this, you know, with each of them. And, uh, and now I hope they're, they're starting to see you know, the, the rewards that come out of it. He deserves everything he gets. You know, fantastic footballer. He really is. And uh, I, I hope for his case that he gets it. It's great for our football club as well to have someone like that. And, and one of the things that the, the team and the players, um, you know, challenged each other on was to try and have the, a top goal scorer in the competition because you know that you're, you're a good chance of playing finals football or going all the way if you, if you have someone like that in your team. And uh, like I said, the... Uh, Credit goes to him, but it's, it's not done. Knowing him, he's, he kept the ball for the first time. We, we knew that he hadn't. He's had many chances to get a hat-trick this year, right? Uh, so many times he's, done, he's been in a brace, but he hasn't been able to get that last one. And I remember I asked him about 15 minutes to go. He looked quite tired and everything else. And, and I asked him if he was OK. He gave me the thumbs up, and, and I knew that he was OK. So, you know, like I said, he, he deserves all the accolades. He's a fantastic individual, you know, worked really hard this season. Um, 
never asked for a day off, never, there were no excuses about him. He just put his head down and worked really hard and, and that's all you can ask for someone like that. And like I said, he's played a massive role as to why we're here. Uh, and playing finals, um, but look, there's more to come from Roy, and I'm, I'm sure if you were to bring him in here, because he really should be sitting here instead of me, because it's all about Roy Krishna tonight. Um, yeah, I love that guy; he's, he's been fantastic. Just one more from me: If Adelaide beat Brisbane on Thursday, if you oh. can't get fourth, yeah, would you consider not taking some players to Perth? No, we're taking them all to Perth. I know hindsight's a wonderful thing. Mark, if you had known at the start of the season that Max Burgess was capable of those kind of attacking performances and being part of that attacking tip of the sword, uh, per se, would you have played him there uh, a bit more earlier in the season? No, that's why I signed him. Because I know what he's capable of. Otherwise, you know, a lot of clubs didn't touch him. You know, I watched him week in, week out in New South Wales Premier League and I saw him do it for fun for Sydney Olympic. Right? Abbasad's a good friend of mine as well and I asked if, if we could take him and obviously you know, take him to the next level because he's certainly good enough. Simple as that. That's why I brought him to the football club. He needed a bit of time. He'd been out of that environment for a while to get up to speed with you know, how we played the game, what we, do, what we were doing and what we were about, but it doesn't surprise me at all. That's why I brought him to the football club. I suppose that segues in. You were able to get the three of those and then David Williams on the pitch in the same 11. Williams obviously dropped back into that right back role. So just talk us through maybe uh, how you saw Williams fit into that and uh, the viability now of that going forward into finals football. Well, it gives me options, you know, I can change things around. Um, we know that David Williams can play as a right back and it's, it's not new to him. I mean, he was a right winger for most of his career. He's got a fantastic engine. He gets up and down. His crossing is superb. Um, yeah, there are certain instances. That, don't forget, he was up against a hell of a player, you know. Um, we knew that. That, that's all, that also played a part in, in our selection process too. We knew how good, he, how good he is and he's come to form now as well. He was injured for a part of the season but watching him the last three games, I, th I thought he was one of their best players from Melbourne City. So it was interesting. It was pretty interesting you know, in terms of the three players that we were looking at playing there, knowing the skill sets that he's got, you know, the left winger from Melbourne City, that we had someone that was able to delay, win the ball, you know, force him down one side and making sure that it, you know, he had bodies in the right areas. So, you know, we know he can play there. Um, you know, we know he can play as a turn. He can play up front. You know, we, we played a certain system today that we did against Newcastle as well. Um, so it, it, it's fine. There are certain areas that we need to improve on. That, that goes without saying. Um, you can talk about you know, the amount of shots they had. I think we only had about three or four shots less than them, you know, although they had a lot of the ball. But that was part of, you know, the plan. I wasn't happy with last week, and that was my fault. You know, we were very open and expansive. I wanted to take the game to Brisbane, and I take complete responsibility for that. I think we're a better team when we were, you know, a lot more tight, particularly our back three. Um, everything else is, is, is all systems go. Everybody understands, you know, the role, no matter where they play. Just one last one for me. You said on Wednesday, half expecting maybe some oranges and bananas to be thrown onto the field. <laughs> but if you, uh, at the final minute after, after the whistle there, the reception you got from the yellow fever, if this does pan out to be your last home game in charge, what was that memory likely to be? Yeah, very emotional. Um, they were very respectful. I, I was taken aback by that as well. There was a nice sign. Uh, it was quite big. Um, I'm glad they didn't misspell my name as well, so that was that was always nice. Um, yeah, it was it was touching for, from, from, you know, like I said, uh, I don't know. I don't understand too much about what goes on. I know Piney asked me at the start, you know, to understand how the fans are feeling before the start of the season, you know it's it's always nice, um, you know, for people to to understand, you know, the job that you do um, and the amount of work that goes into it as well. Like I said, my intentions are always the best. I wanted the best for this football club. I wanted to try and make some kind of difference. It's up to others to, to determine whether that's the case or not. But like I said, I've got nothing but respect for for those fans. I worked hard for them. Like I said, I apologise throughout the week for my decision, but. Uh, to see what happened afterwards was really touching. Uh, I'm sure, you know, my wife and kids would would be extremely happy when I give them a call after this as well about the reception that I got. So I, I can't thank them enough for embracing me and, like I said, even seeing the people around. Um, if it is the last time, it's uh, like I said yeah, a few days ago. It'll, it'll last with me for a very long time. You know, it's 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 beautiful. It really is. The whole the whole place is 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 great. So thank thank you. That's all I can say. Well, yeah, yeah, feel, yeah, not really. No, no. I, I try not to get too sentimental about those things. I, I think, 
I think with decisions that I make on the football field tells you, tells you that as well sometimes. Sometimes players are unhappy, you know, um, but I try to steer away from that as much as possible. I'd be lying if I didn't think about it at some stage during the day, you know, because you never know and, and you, you know, you know, that you're, You've, you've meant well coming in here. You've tried to make a, a difference, you know, for the better as well. So, but I try not to affect me. You know, my job was to win a game of football, you know, and, and to make sure that my last message to my players were, these fans have been fantastic all season. You know, make them proud. Go out there, be fearless. Just, just, just play. play. No, no pressure on us. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter where we're going to end up. I just want us, you know, to play the way we've played all season. You know, with no fear, with no expectation. Just go out there and enjoy yourself. You know, put a smile on your face and do it for, for them as well. You know, if you talk about, you can talk tactical, and we did all that as well. But I just wanted, I wanted our fans to be proud of, of these guys as well, and, and, I, and I hope they were, and I think they would be. You know, knowing that you, sc you scored a winner in the last minute, um, and the big fella above didn't do us any favours with the clouds and the rain, and it was a little bit, you know, cold. But it's good to see a couple of kids out as well. You know, it's always nice when the kids drag their parents out too. And yeah, like I said, it was. Uh, would have been great. One of the things, then I told Courtney this at the start of the season. I would have loved to have seen this place rocking, you know. Um, and I guess I failed in that in that regard, you know, because that was one of the things that we kept talking about. Um, the bigger picture was that I saw in my head was, you know, 25,000 here. Um, you know, that Wellingtonians are really proud of their of their team and and, and the players. <clears throat> so I guess uh, that dream that I had at the start probably didn't come to fruition. I keep dreaming, you know. You never know. Yeah, well, it's probably answered your question or anybody else that asked that question. Yeah, look, I understand the questions, and um, and like I said, I you know I've always been very open, you know, with my club and, and my players too, and you know it's uh, it wasn't anything new, you know. I mean, the last couple of weeks, I'll take the hit for that, you know, the way I set the team up, the way I wanted us to play. That's 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 me. That's not the boys. It's, I don't think it's got anything to do with the external stuff. You know, I speak to them quite regularly, you know, and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that you you can put something like that to bed with a result like this, and the way we won it as well. You know, there's a, there's a lot to be positive for. And like I said, that that moment, a moment can change so many things throughout a week. It's incredible. This game is incredible. You know, a moment like that where Roy gets his hat trick, you know, outside of his foot, just flicks around the corner, and you get that last minute winner. Um, is superb. You know, these boys will be buzzing. They won't sleep tonight. I know the feeling, the adrenaline's still pumping, you know, they'll be, they'll be looking forward to going to Perth and who knows, we might come back, we may not come back, whatever the case may be, you know, uh, we just wanted to put a performance that our fans would be proud of tonight and um, like I said, there could have been room for improvement but I don't think any fan that's walking home or going home tonight, you know, weathering that cold and, and in the rain as well, would be unhappy with their team scoring a last, last minute winner. Maybe you should ask the, the defenders from the other team that we've been facing. I, I think he, he puts the fear in God and everyone. You know, we, we know his skill sets. We know how, how important he is. I know. I knew how important he was when I first came to the club. He just needed um, some love. You know, he's. he's that, I think that's that's. And um, you know, also a little bit of pushing, right? You know, to to get him to the best. And I think a lot of these boys just had to believe a little bit more in themselves. They had to work hard and really believe in themselves. And Roy's just. Yeah, I think Roy's an example of of the whole team um, as well. But he, he certainly puts the fear of God into any defender out there. I, I, I see them. I've played in that position for a long time. I'd hate to be marking him, you know. And you can see as the ball's coming towards him, they don't know whether to go too tight. If they do, he rolls you. If they stay off him, he'll turn you and, and he'll just put one past you and, and he's off. He, you're not catching him, you know. And we worked hard on his finishing, really, really hard, you know. We, we do a lot of extras and, and, and I ask Rennie to do a lot of work and he does a lot of fantastic work with all those guys, you know. and. Um, I think he'll, he'll be the first to say um, that thanking his players because, like I said, as a whole, as a group, that's one thing that we wanted to, to achieve this year. Do you have any insight into where he's No. I'd love to know as myself, you know, but I think he's, he's the king of Wellington Phoenix, surely. You know, I mean, you saw the reception that he got when he scored the hat trick. I mean, he's loved here by all. Um, it's not for me to say, you know, I know you guys may think this, that, or other, but. It's got nothing to do with me. He really hasn't, you know. Roy's Roy. He's make, he'll make his own decisions. I, I think he's, it's pretty clear how many clubs are chasing him. 
Uh, there have been offers put to, to, to him as well. It hasn't been easy, easy to manage. It's a tricky time of the year. You know, you've got the, the top um, marksman of the competition who's been chased by every club and they're throwing corn his way, and deservedly so. You know, I, I tell every player they deserve everything they get, like, like anyone in life. You work hard, you pay your dues, you know, you, you make sacrifices, you should get rewarded for it, and, and so should he. Um, as long as it doesn't affect this season, you know, because we want to create a moment, we want to create this season that yeah, none of us forget. Just one more on Rory. Um, in your 15 years of playing the league from the A-League or reserving the A-League, yep. have you seen a striker that can compete for him, or is it mm. quite unique? I think it's quite unique. He's, he's unique in, in terms of, you look at all the top goal scorers like Bessart Berisha, for example. Um, you look at Archie Thompson uh, as well. You know, you look at Bruno Fornaroli. You know, all these guys are fantastic footballers. You know, he, one thing that he's got on them is pace. You know, he, he's got this electrifying pace that needed to be somewhat um, changed and, and to use it at the right time, you know, when he needs to come towards the ball as well. Um, he's got great skill about him, you know, um, but I think just the, his ability to get past players in, in 1v1 type of scenarios and, um, and his finishing is extraordinary. And don't forget, you know, these guys played in good teams. You know, all, all the top goal scorers normally play in good teams. You know, Roy's been, this is not disrespectful at all, but, you know, but Wellington struggled in the last few years, you know, and, and he still comes up trumps and scores, you know, so it was our job to try and you know, get a team together that's going to be able to supply him with the kind of service that we know he requires and he needs. Having a look at him, you know, I knew exactly what his skill sets were and I needed, I, need, I knew what, it, what was required below him or beneath him as well. So it's quite unique. It's hard to compare. I don't think it's, it's fair to compare. I think he should just take this at this season and, and it's just, it's due, you know, a reward for someone that's worked extremely hard and has finally gotten what he's deserved for a long time, you know, and, and again, you've got to give the players a lot of credit because they wanted this for him too. Um, so everyone's different, all, you know, all strikers are different, but um, like I said, I think it's just fantastic for our football club as well. You know, it's been a long time since uh, we had a top goal scorer in the league. Um, Jeremy Brocky, no? Schmelzi, that's right, yeah. yeah. But he certainly didn't get 18 with a game to go.